Life without tacos is no life at all. <laughs> Hey guys, Katie Brown here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is rodeo day and we are going to a zebra rodeo in Gordonsville, Virginia where it all started. To where we went to our first rodeo. We are going there today. It is now 2.38. I have to leave here at 3 to make it to Cassie's by 4. Feeding her. She's got mud all over her. So gonna have to spray her off and get her clean before we can leave. We are hoping for clean runs today and win some money to put me higher up in those standings. Really trying hard to get higher in those standings. So trying to feed her right now and then I will, after she gets done eating, I'm going to spray her off and get the mud and nastiness all off of her and then we'll head to Cassie's. Just now made it to Cassie's. There's a wasp in here. Just now made it to Cassie's. Got the girls on the trailer. My truck is now sitting, waiting for me to get back. But I'm about to message one of my friends. Did you hear zero kick just now? About to message one of my friends and see if she knows what the draw is because we're kind of freaking out not knowing if we're in the slack, if we're in the perf or what we're in because they have not posted it yet. So I'm about to message her and see. And then we're gonna head to Gordonsville, Virginia. We made it to the rodeo and we have to go and see what the draws are, which I think I'm last in the performance and Cassie's in the slack, but we need to go see exactly who's and where. But I already got Fury all saddled up and everything. Can you see her? Cute. And I'm wearing the little peachy piece and Cassie gave me her coral boots to match this shirt, which is really cool. Trying to talk in here so that I talk over the music playing and it doesn't copyright this part. But anyway, we're gonna go check the draw and then hopefully I'll run in the performance after the bulls are done. clean run. Cassie ran a clean run. I ran a 16.7. It was pretty good. The ground was a little bit deeper than last time because it was wet. We're currently at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see if we can fit through this drive through Is the lobby not open? I wonder if we just drove over the curb. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if no. we could go around and then like back through the drive through or is the curb completely like blocking everything off? The curb, like right there, it's like a turn. It's like yeah, no room. We about to walk through this drive through. Yeah, you want to? Yep. Cause we'll walk. Okay. I'll just shut my lights off. It's good. <laughs> we can see it. We're about to go walk through this freaking Taco Bell drive through. <laughs> we have no clue if we won money or not. We left before because your girl lives like five and a half hours from Gordonsville, so. We went ahead and left, and if I won money, we'll just have to figure that out after the fact. Which I don't know if I did or not. It depends on how many spots they pay out. Because there was a lot of girls around today. We're going to walk through Taco Bell drive through What what you'll do for Taco Bell? <laughs> okay, we're starving. I didn't shut the off. <laughs> Why do you need to shut the lights off? They might not serve us. They might say you need to be in a vehicle. But you know what? Guess what it is? Yeah, 
<laughs> we'll do two separate orders and I'll buy my food. That way we don't have to figure that out. Oh god, there's, <laughs> there's a car behind us. <laughs> oh god, this is funny. <laughs> I'm about to buy so much food, you don't even understand. <laughs> Oh, here we oh, go. See, I couldn't make this turn, but I... No, definitely could not make that turn. Oh, my God. Ooh, what do we want? Oh, I don't know what I want, honey. Yeah. You want me to go first? <laughs> we got the goods. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <laughs> You're running like an old woman. <laughs> get robbed. Maybe. Jesus. Oh, my surroundings. Oh, better robber than me, girl. Life without tacos is no life at all. <laughs> I don't know how much y'all can see, and I apologize because this is as good as it gets in this truck. But a little update for you guys. Um, I made it back to Cassie's and realized my lights were not working on my trailer so I go to look and the plug come unplugged to my trailer and drug down the road apparently when I was on the interstate and drug half of the plug off and pulled the wires out so I had to bum some of Cassie's red magnetized lights which I'm gonna buy me some from Walmart next time I go to Walmart for this reason right now but I have two magnetized red lights on the back of my trailer because I have zero lights or electric brakes right now so that's fantastic but now I'm gonna have to have Raymond fix that for me tomorrow before I go to Ohio on Tuesday because I'm gonna need lights and brakes before then so that's fantastic. Raymond, if you're watching this, you're a great sponsor. Having to take care of my rig for me. <laughs> Love you. We did not fall in the money today. I think they paid out to like a 16-2 or something, so we're very close to getting a payout, which it was practically like running at a totally different arena than last time I ran at Gordonsville, because last time I ran at Gordonsville, it was a mud pit and it had rained a whole lot so it was really kind of like hard like the sand was hard and this time when i ran there i was at the bottom of the perf so i was 15 out of the 15th they run the 15 they run so i was the last girl to run in the perf so i was at the bottom of the ground and it was a little deep a little, little bit deep around those barrels and it was tough to to really get your horse to run around those barrels so we were not too fast today which is fine i'm still seasoning a baby for rodeo so i'm good i'm just happy it was clean because that was all i really was striving for was a clean run because i knocked twice on her at finals so i was really trying to myself to make a clean run this time and work on my mental game on staying focused during my runs and don't shut down too early and knock barrels. It is now 4.22 a.m. I will make it to Tina's about 4.30 and then I will put her out, grab my car and my dogs and head home. I'll probably get home a little after five for sure. Probably closer to like 5.15, 5.20, something like that. Rodeo is definitely not for the faint of heart, especially if you want to go to all these rodeos that are one day that you have to travel to and travel back from the same day. Because I traveled about five and a half hours there, I think. Five and a half hours back. If you want a rodeo, you, you have to be dedicated because definitely not for the faint of heart. There's a deer crossing the road. Oh, your baby. Look, can you see? Get 
you across the road. Don't your mommy teach you no lessons? Anyway. Okay, which I was, I wish there was more rodeos closer to home, which really sucks that there is literally no rodeos close to home. Like, the closest one to me is probably, I don't know, three hours. The closest rodeo that I've been to or will go to, I'm sure. It's like three hours from my house. So that really puts a damper on what all rodeos that I can go to and try to qualify for nationals because I can't afford to go to ones that are like five, six, seven hours away alone. I have to have somebody go with me. But wish there was more radios closer to home. If anybody watches this video that would love to help a girl out, contact Sebra and see how you can get a radio at your place because I am so sick of having to travel to Virginia and Ohio, North Carolina, literally everywhere but West Virginia. I've been to like one in West Virginia and it was up north so it was like two and a half hours, close to three hours from my horses. And that really sucks having to travel so far to rodeo whenever I, there's so many places nearby that could have rodeos. And y'all would not believe the people that show up to these rodeos. Like, nobody comes to watch a barrel race, but everybody will come watch a rodeo. Like, there was probably thousands of people at the rodeo tonight, which I was so in a rush to do everything that I did not get to video as much as possible like I did last time I was at Gordonsville. But if you want to know more of like behind the scenes and the alleyway and stuff like that, you can always go and find that other video and look at it because I, I filmed the alleyway and everything in that video. Just did not have time today because we did not know what draw we were until we got there so that was very stressful driving that far not knowing if you were in the perf or in the slack which i ended up being the last person in the perf and cassie was the first person in the slack we were kind of stressed going out there because we weren't sure if we needed to be there super early before the performance or if we needed to wait and not be in such a rush because we were going to be last in the slack when we got there, I went ahead and saddled up Curie and got her ready so that after the bulls and the mutton busting, I could go in and do the open arena for the performance and then run her at the end of the performance. So I didn't really have time to vlog much. I apologize. I didn't get over to Tina and Raymond's until late, so I didn't get to really do anything with her beforehand except feed her and spray her feet off because she was nasty. So I didn't even get to do anything before. Couldn't find half of the stuff that I use for my normal runs. Don't know where half my stuff went because it sucks having to switch from trailer to trailer and then like have to put everything in my living quarters trailer and then have to switch it all back over into my stock trailer every other weekend and then you forget stuff in one trailer or the other and then you don't have it for the next. It's, it's what I know being at the end of the perf was not particularly my favorite but, but you live and you learn and you find out what you like and what you don't like and how you do good and how you don't do good we will be at Pomeroy Ohio I don't know if I'm saying that right on Tuesday and I'm pretty sure it's a small pin like a 12 second pin about like Eleanor was so we will see how that goes because Fury did pretty good at Eleanor, so hopefully she does good at Pomeroy. But I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate each and every one of you that watches these crazy videos, even if I do do a sucky job and don't film as much as I should. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate everybody that likes my videos and comments and engages in any way and subscribes to my channel. It really means the world to me. Like. I just started making these videos just to have memories to look back on and just because they're fun to make and fun to 
film and I love to do this sort of thing and if you're not following me on TikTok, I actually hit 10,000 followers on TikTok the other day, which is really exciting. That was a big goal of mine to hit 10,000 followers on there. But hopefully before long, we get to 10,000. That really cool. But I thank you guys for everything. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications to get notified every single time I post a new video, which is like all the time.